Okay, so I got my pattern cut out. And this is what I have. I have my front piece, my back piece, my um, waistband, some hem tape, and some pins here. All right, let's get started. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna start out by taking one of my, my front leg pieces and one of the back leg pieces, okay? And it should be right sides together. So I'm gonna have my back piece here and then I'm going to get my front piece and I'm gonna lay that on top of my back piece, just like this, all right? All right, so it should look like this, okay? Cause I'm just going to um, pin along this curved edge here and then I'm going to connect and then I'm going to sew a half inch seam allowance. And then I will pin this side here yeah, with a half inch seam allowance. So let's pin. And we're gonna do this same step for your other pants leg. All right, so I pin along this long side here. So now I'm going to match up this my front pants leg to this side. So let's match them up, match this crop seam up here. And I'm going to pin. I am going to be making two of these. My daughter's friend, she, she loved the um the leopard print that Miley had on and she said that she had to have it. So I have to make it for her. <laughs> right? Alright, so let's repeat the same step for your other pants. Okay, so I have both of my um, bell bottom pants leg pinned. Now I'm going to go to my go to my sewing machine. Now I'm just going to do a zigzag stitch. Your stretch stitch, whatever stitch you like, you gotta use it, okay? Because this is neat. When you start, when you sew it with knit, you gotta do a zigzag stitch, okay? So therefore, we're just gonna go half inch seam allowance, one of your stretch stitches, and then I am going to go ahead and also um, serge my raw ends. So then it can look all nice and pretty, you know what I'm saying? Cause you know, but if you ain't got that, it don't even matter. Cause like I said, if it's for your kid, it don't even matter. You know what I'm saying? Cause my little she don't be tripping. You know, as long as it don't have it last again, but too bad, too sad. Cause it's got it last again. <laughs> all right, let's do this. I sewn both sides of, on both pants legs. Now this is the reason why I can tell you, I say I do not like, I mean, I like, okay. I have a love hate relationship when it comes to the doodle fabric, okay? I love it because you know it's really cute and they also always have sales on it. Of course, yeah. Okay. But the issue I have with it, if if you could see here, get a little close up. You see how it's it's all wonky, you know, rippled up right here. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting seasick looking at this, you know what I'm saying? Like that's what I don't like about it. I am just going to take it to the iron and I'm just gonna iron it out with some, just some steam. Just put a whole bunch of good steam on it, okay? And um, it should level it, out, level it out a little bit more, okay? But that's like my, you know, this is my love-hate relationship with it, but they always have really, really cute fabric. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to take one of my pants leg pieces and I'm going to flip it right side out. Just like that, okay? Alright, so I have one pants leg, pants leg piece flipped right side out. Alright, and then what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to take the right side out piece and I'm going to put it inside of the wrong side out piece, okay? So I'm just going to take it. This is what it looks like, just like that. I'm just going to take it and I'm going to put it inside. All right, so I'm just gonna got it inside. I'm just going to match up a crop seam. So I got the wrong side, and let's match up the crop seam. And I'm going to pin along the U shape here. Okay. Okay. So I have my my crop seams here pinned. 
And now I'll just go do my, take it to my machine, do my hand pin seam allowance, and as for my stretch stitch, and I will serve my edge, and I will be back. I've sewn my, my U shape, my cross seam here, so I'm just gonna turn right side out. Ooh, these things look so cute. Oh, wow, she's gonna love this. My goodness, so cute, okay? So grab your waistband and your pins, and your elastic, whatever size that, um, whatever size you need. So I already have my cut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my waistband here and I'm going to turn it and put these right sides together, just like that. And I'm going to sew a half inch seam allowance here, okay? All right, so I did my, I sewed my, my waistband together. I'm going to just press just finger press this my um my side seam open and then I'm just going to fold it just like this. You see, fold it in half. Just like that, okay? See? Just like that, okay? So then I'm gonna set this to the side. And I'm also going to take my elastic here and I'm going to um put these on top of each other and I'm just gonna about a half inch here. about a half inch and I'm just a zigzag stitch it together, okay? And I'll be good. Okay, so I zigzag stitched my waistband. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my waistband, grab my waistband and grab, grab my waistband and my elastic. And I'm just going to, okay, so I got my waistband in here, just like that, right? All right, so what we're gonna do next is we're going to quarter off, quarter off our waistband. Okay. So grab your fabric marker. You can use your fabric marker, you can use your pen. So what you'll do is, is here is the back of my um, waistband here, okay? This is where the, the back is gonna attach to the back of the um, your butt, okay? So I'm gonna fold this in half, just like that. Okay, and this right here is where um, the back, and this will be the front. So you just take your marker and you just pick, um, mark, or, you can just pin it. All up to you, okay? So I know, I'm gonna just take these out because I don't wanna get y'all confused. Okay, so I know, so I know that this is the back and this will be the front. Now what you're gonna do is we're gonna match these two together, just like that, okay? So now we're, we're matching the front and the back pieces together. You see? All right. And we're going to quarter off. We're going to pull these two together, this piece, and I'm going to mark or pin. So this will be our sides of our pants, okay? We'll go to this side here, the other side, and we're just pinning, just like that. All right, and we're gonna put this to the side and now we're gonna quarter off our pants piece, okay? Now let's quarter off our pants, okay? Now, you would think that the side seams will be, will match with the side seams of your waistband. That's not the case here. So what you'll do is, is how we're gonna quarter this off, is we're going to take, this is our back, of course, and this is our front. So we're just going to take our front piece here and we're gonna match it to the back, okay? It's just like that. And then I'm going to just line this, put these pieces together all the way until here, see? And see, I have like just a little bit of excess right here. So I'm going to, See here, as I line this up, I get this little piece right here. So this is where my side seam of my waistband is gonna hit. And I just mark here, or you can cut it. All up to you, okay? And I repeat that same step up here on, this, on my right side. And here. 
is my sizing. Not much from the actual sizing, but it actually makes a difference. So. Grab your waistband, and you already have it marked. So what you'll do is, is we're gonna put our waistband in here over our over our pants right side together, and I'm matching the back seam here. Back seam of my waistband is going to touch the back seam of my pants, so I match those two just like that. Find my center of my pants, my front part of my pants gonna match that to the front part of my the front part of my um, waistband I'm gonna match that to the front part of my my uh, pants. Now find my side seams here. I'm gonna match those right here. And this side seam what would it be? Here. I'm gonna match it. Just like that. So now what I'll just do is, is I'll pin all the way around and then I'll just take it to my machine, stitch it, and I will also serge it and I'll be back. Okay, so get your pants kind of the wrong side out. Okay. Just like this. And for this this hand tape that we have, you have to start out using just, just iron it on. No stain, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so this side is cool, and I'm gonna turn on my stain. All right, I'm just gonna peel off my hand tape. Just like that, okay? Now what you're gonna do is we're going to fold our um, bell bottom. We're gonna hem up, so we're gonna fold on the wrong side an inch, okay? And we're gonna take it to our machine and we're gonna hem it. So just fold. And voila, we are done. So cute. She is going to love these. I can't wait to see her in these. OMG, y'all. Look how cute these pants are. These are so cute. Cute little bell bottoms. Oh my goodness. I love them so much. Miley loves them. Love them. Also, um, I got this fabric from Joanne's. So cute. I think it's the doodle fabric. I think that's what it is. It's like an inner interlocking fabric, which is so, uh, I mean, I love it. At first I didn't like it because it's stretched. Like the stretch would just not come back and I couldn't stand it if you stretch it out too much. But I done figured it out a little bit, you know, and I love it now. That's all I care about sewing for. Cause Joanne's always have a sale on at least 30, 40, 50% off on it and I'm here for the cheap. Y'all know how I feel about being cheap now. Okay, so, Bailey. It's the bathing pattern from um, Made for Mermaids. They have several different options on there. Y'all like my shirt? Uh, I get a little squirrels every now and then. Like, y'all like my shirt? It's so cute. I love it. Shout out to all my friends who want me to sew everything for them all the time. When they can get it real, real good, cheap, cheap, cheap. On wish.com. Okay, I'm back. So, yeah. Um, bathing pattern, cute. They have this in girls and women. Another little, you know, mommy and me little outfit. Y'all wanna go do some bell bottoms and stuff. You know, people been having parties and stuff. So y'all, if y'all wanna go on and get your bell bottoms for the 70th party for next year, go on and get it done, okay? Just after Christmas and Thanksgiving because you're probably gonna gain a little weight. So don't do it yet. We'll worry about that next year. I just squirreled again on y'all. Okay, anywho, so like I said, Got some different options or whatever. This right here, the option I did was just a simple one, but they also have it where you can. Let me see. Gotta get out my my, my computer because I want to make sure I tell y'all what y'all gonna be getting in this cute pattern. Okay. They also have like a gathering option on here too. So they got the pattern and stuff where you can gather it and then just 
has a little exposed ruffles here on the bottom, still give you that bell bottom effect. So, you know, that's super cute, you know. I didn't do that option because I just wanted the one whole freaking pair. This it. Cut that sun gun out. Cut the waistband out. Look at it. All I got was what? It's like three. So you got the front and back and the and the um and the waistband here for it. I don't think I told you guys to put get some elastic. So you make sure you get some elastic, okay? I always put out the cutting chart, okay? So you can you won't have to go back and forth to your computer. You know what I'm saying? take up time. Anybody got time for it? I mean y'all working mamas working and y'all ain't got time to go back and forth, you know what I'm saying? So I love this pattern. I know you guys are gonna love it too. I made another one of these for my uh, daughter's friend. She loves it. I mean, hey, it was a win-win for all of us, right? Well, thank you so much. Do not forget to, let's say it together, subscribe to Jessica's channel. Miley made me do it. Click that notification bell. Click it, I need you to click it right now. If you haven't subscribed, go subscribe right now. I got time. Got you enough time. Okay, now, notification bell. I ain't got time for that. Gotta keep this video short. Anywho, thank you so much. I love you guys. Go check out that pattern. Check me out next week. See what else I got for y'all, you know. Every week, come kick it with your girl, okay? All right, I love you guys. Have a good day. Have a good sewing day. See ya.